This is a vintage AITC solid state ACDC convertible radio. This is not mine. Uh, you can see it's kind of in rough shape. It looks like it was a radio used when you'd paint a room or something. Uh, this is on loan from XJO81X. It was found in an abandoned drawer in a garage that will be left unnamed for the time being. You can see the uh, paint splatters, the handle actually shielded a bit from that. Uh, this has not been turned on in many years. I don't know how many years, but it's been, I'd say, easily five, if not more years. So I don't know if it works or how well it's going to work. It does have a busticated antenna on it. As you can see here, it does come up and it kind of doesn't stay or do anything. So I'll just sort of put it back. We are in the basement, so I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. We'll give it a shot and we'll set it up just right here. We'll start, I guess, on the FM dial, and I'll leave it right there. Here we go for a smoke test. We'll fly power. I hear some stuff. It's going to need some work. Have to try some deoxid on the volume control. That's a little better. Hello, it's me. Tuner seems very sensitive. Everything they say the time. Let's go back. There we go. Now it's kind of working. So we'll just go up the FM dial here. Kind of a lot of noise in it. Who's this? I think it's Jennifer Wacker. Why? Let's just see what the other controls on it here are. Take a peek at it and then we'll get back to that. There is an earphone jack and also a switch for AC or DC control. Here's the back of it, also kind of the same. I'm not going to unsnap it from here. It's sort of leatherette case or something like that. Uh, it's not mine, like I said, so I'm just sort of showing it to you. Nothing on that side. I don't see anything really in the form of any sort of tone control or anything like that. It is uh, made in Japan, if you can see right there, and a little spec plate, which really doesn't tell us much. Uh, let's see what else we can get off of the FM. Getting to the top was always a challenge. Yet what so many 
pretty loud. Or the versatile Jeep Cherokee. Maybe I can be so bold. Like Grand Cherokee. Okay. So it just needs some deoxid or something. That's cutting out now. Hum on FM is rare. Seem to do better on the lower end of the scale. And that's it. And we'll go all the way back. And um, this also does have VHF, but obviously all that's off the air now. Just a little few things on VHF. Data? Maybe data of some kind, I don't know. It's all dashed off here, so. And we'll go all the way back down and we'll try AM. Seems to do better if I don't hold the antenna. And we'll go to the shortwave band. It's been a long time since I had a shortwave radio. It goes from on the scale here, four megahertz on up to 12. I don't know if we'll pick anything up at all or what still is broadcast on shortwave, at least in the New York area. I guess better not to hold the antenna. I don't think we're really going to pick much up.
www.whr.org. You'll find technical information and program schedules. You can sign our guest book, leave a reception report for QSL response, hmm. and even listen to our broadcast in live streaming real audio. That address again is www.whr.org. Our email address is whr at lacine.com. This is WHRI, broadcasting from Cypress Creek, South Carolina, in the United States of America. Okay, well, that at least announced it. I don't know where it is or if this is not really picking up shortwave or what, but... <laughs> and they went dead. That concludes our broadcast day. Um, I don't know exactly how old this is. I would venture to say it is very late 60s to very early 70s. Typically the solid state logo and stuff like that uh, kind of disappeared by the early 70s. So it may have been the very, very, very early 70s. Um, Probably more like a mid to late 60s radio is what I'm guessing to maybe early 70s. I don't really know, and um, I don't even know what model this is. Let's see if you could read the nameplate there. I don't think I can actually read that. Not really doesn't tell me much anyways this will also take batteries but again I'm not gonna go and delve into that because if there are batteries in here you know they've leaked all over everything and I don't want to get into that so I'm gonna have XJ 81 x see this video and then he's gonna say yeah but it's fucking useless if it doesn't work if I gotta fuck around with the damn thing all the time the fuck the fuck the fuck you know choo choo van goo so what I have to do is uh, have him see the video and then uh, he's going to say, oh good, can I steal some of your shit to fix it? Yeah, I figured. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.